the greatest irony. Now with power of the shots, you are actually compromising on the accuracy and vice versa. With accuracy, you are actually compromising on the power of your shot. This video is working to address this, how to get the best of both worlds, whereby you get sufficient power and as well accuracy in your shots at the same time. The key questions will lie is, where does the power of your shots come from? And how can you adjust your body and control it such that you can improve your accuracy as well. Now let's dig into it and find out more. Uh, believe it or not, I've seen my fair shares of awful shots. Shots that looks like golf shot, shots that looks like they are trying to scoop the ball up from the ground uh, in order to let the ball fly. However, those shots are just awful. The contact is not well, insufficient power, and not to mention about accuracy, at times if you just balloon off the ball post, you probably don't even need a goalkeeper to be there to save the ball. Now, power of the shots should come to three key areas in my opinion. Number one, your legs. Number two, your hips. And number three, the core. Wait, 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 wait. Power not from the hands? Yes, power not from the hands. Let me explain more. Now, imagine your body uh, it is to act like a spring. Okay, when it is unloaded, there is just simply no storage of power in order to spring it off. And so therefore, no power in this case of the shots. Uh, however, if you are able to get your body to act like a spring, whereby you load it up. And once you load it up with the storage of potential power to be released, and once you are releasing it, that's where you can gain power of your shots. How then do I train my legs, hips and core? Now, here are some exercises that you can work uh, in order to, to do so. Number one, let's go into legs. Single leg squats. Now, single leg squats is an exercise whereby it, it, it works on your stability, your balance, as well as to be able to increase the, the load onto one leg. And with that, um, it strengthens your, your thigh, your glutes and your hamstring, which in return helps to generate or improve the power of your shots now other than single leg squats you can also work on a few plyometric jumping squats or lunges now plyometrics exercises are actually a very excellent source like to develop power of your your legs historically speaking wise whether is it you want to work on your sprints whether you want to work on your jumps be it you know in floorball in other sports but it's a very good source to work on the power and so therefore you can work on either the plyometric jumping squats or plyometric jumping lunges. Now, an example can be single leg squats for 30 seconds on the left, single leg squat 30 seconds on the right, jumping squats for 15 seconds and jumping lunges for 15 seconds. Slot in necessary uh, rest intervals in between and you're good to go. Now just do not do give 100% when you execute your exercise because the intervals are considered short. So you want to just go all out 100% in that short time frame uh, before you go for a rest interval. Let's move on to the hips. Now, hips in terms of shooting does help in terms of releasing your shots. Now, you need to improve the mobility of your hips and that will in return improve your technique and as well as the general power of your shots. Um, so one way you can do in terms of exercise is what I call 90-90. This 90-90 exercise is a very good exercise in order to activate your hips. Um, you go on one side 90-90, hold it for about a few seconds, usually about three seconds or so before you switch it up towards the other side. Now you can do this for about 30 seconds to one minute uh, be able to feel that your hips are gradually open up there's this world's greatest stretch now it's called the world's greatest stretch for a reason now this mobility exercise help to really open up your hips and also extend out your groin muscles um, it helps to loosen up the muscles that surrounding around your hips and core and again that will definitely help out in the power of your shots Move on to core. Now, nothing beats the old traditional planking exercise. Now, planks is usually one of the most common uh, go-to exercise in order to build on your core. Just make sure you get down onto your elbow, elbow on the ground, 
and do remember to activate your hips, your lower back and as well as your glutes. Now one way to, to ensure that your posture and execution is correct is to squeeze in your glutes as you hold on to the plank position. Now you can do this in intervals of 15 seconds up to 30 seconds whether it's 3 rounds, 5 rounds, 7 rounds or even up to 10 rounds now, now we are set up in terms of generating the power let's move on to the accuracy in terms of accuracy it is important to know this term called follow through in my opinion what do you do after you release the ball out from your shots now in terms of releasing your shots you ought to release it the, your shot somewhere near your front foot that's where the ball is being released off your blade. And the follow-through will come next. Now, doing a correct follow-through would be able to ensure that your ball is traveling towards the direction um, at least 80, 90% or even 100% of the time. Now, what you need to do is to ensure that you cover your shots well, cover the blade, and at the same time, your general body position should be facing the goal. Now, what I did back then as a beginner player, one way is to find a wall, a chair, or even draw out a target that's on a, again, on a wall. Uh, what you can do is this specific target is about the mid-height of our big goal post. Okay, then stand away about seven to eight meters uh, from the target and start shooting and trying to attempt to hit the ball against the target now you might take five minutes a day you might take tens hundreds or even thousands of shots the key thing is you need to work on your follow through in a stationary position be it wrist shot drag shot or even slap shot in order for the ball to travel at the right spot towards the right direction now with enough practice i can assure you you would definitely improve the accuracy of your shots and this is purely working uh, on the accuracy of your shots now with that uh, combined with the exercises i've mentioned before in regards to working on the power of shots these two work hand in hand together and you should bring it onto the court so exercise everything separately practice everything separately once you get into the core trainings where you need to do your, your simple dribble your running shots uh, shots from passes from your friend training matches where you're gonna take shots that is where you should be able to see uh, gradual improvements in your shots whether is it, it gets more powerful number one and number two it is getting more accurate in terms of getting it into goal now getting your shots right does not just include having enough power and also having uh, a good follow through another thing is also getting the right sound of your shots correctly when you take your shots the next video that you can see over here and i'll see you there oh yeah like and subscribe